Hi crafters and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to be kicking off a new series here called Adobe Illustrator for Crafters. In this series, I'm going to teach you everything I know about creating SVG cut files for your Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines for free. Yes, I said it, for free. The only thing I ask is that you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content and you want to see more. For our very first lesson to kick off day one of this series, we are keeping it simple and we're going to be working with text. So it isn't enough to just type some text onto your artboard, save it as an SVG, and upload it into Cricut. There are a couple of steps that we have to take before we can consider the image or the text rather, an SVG, but I promise you it's super easy and we're gonna get right into it. The first thing that you want to do when you get into Adobe Illustrator is go to create new and select the size that you want to work with. So because I always think of my Cricut map being in 12 by 12, I just have my custom setting at 12 by 12 inches. You can always change this later. When you're creating SVGs, this actually isn't that important. So. Pick whatever size you're comfortable with. I like working with a square. I select 12 by 12 inches and I'm going to hit create. So there are a lot of features and a lot of tools and a lot of windows here. Don't get too caught up in all of that. The point of this series is to take you through tasks to make you more comfortable with some of the tools and features that Adobe Illustrator has to offer. So we wanna insert some text. So you're going to go over to the left-hand side and click on the text tool. You'll see when you hover over, it says type tool, and then there's the letter T in parentheses. If you click T on your keyboard, it will bring up this type tool. These little commands are really, really handy, and I, su I suggest you hover over some of these features and get to know them. So I am going, I'm just going to select anywhere on my artboard, and I'm going to start typing. So I want to write the word happy. And I'm going to press Control A to select all of the text. And then I'm going to go to the top toolbar and increase the font size. Let's make it about 200. Now, you can also access all of that, um, the, the text properties, by going to the properties window on your right hand panel. If you do not see this panel, you are going to want to click on window at the top and then make sure properties is selected. I would also turn on your layers palette as well. You can also double click on your text to have it all selected and I am going to go over to my properties panel to find a font that I want to work with. I am using one of my favorites which is the font wished. So this looks great and it's exactly what I want, but this is not an SVG yet. In order for this to be an SVG, you have to convert it into a compound path. Now, this sounds complicated, but I promise you it's very, very simple. If I were to save this by going to File, Save As, and saving it as an SVG, and I were to upload it into Cricut, Cricut would not be able to upload it into Design Space because this is not a compound path. It's not truly an SVG. So using the selection tool, which is your first arrow over here, you can also press V on your keyboard. You are going to want to click on your text then go to the top, click type and create outlines. So you will see that, that this is no longer editable. Um, your text is pretty much where it is and this is now considered a compound path. Now we're gonna go over to our layers panel which is on the right hand side. Again, if you don't see this, go to window and layers. Click on the arrow to show more and click on the group until all of these letters are showing that they are separate. So if I were to put this into Cricut, Cricut would take these letters and probably jumble, jumble them all up. So what you are wanting to do here is you are going to want to select all of this and make it be on one layer, not within a group. So again, click the selection tool and click on your text. And now I am on a Windows computer, so I am going to press Command 8. Now I am on a Windows computer right now, so I am going to press Control-8. If you are on a Mac, you are going to press Command-8. You can also go to Object, Compound Path, and press Make. Now you will see that it did take away the coloring, 
but it is now one composite image and it's all going to be grouped together and cut together perfectly. So you are going to want to go over to the left hand side and double click on the fill and find a color. I'm just going to use black and press OK. So now this is one composite path and it's going to be grouped together as one image when I upload it into Cricut Design Space. So that is how you would make a compound and a composite path with print. Now I want to show you how you would do this exact same thing with a script font because there's one extra step that you have to take. Go back to your type tool and let's insert happy again. I'm going to select forward of properties and I'm going to find a script font. Let's use this one. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with our print version of Happy and go to type and create outlines. Now, you'll notice that when you go to create outlines, it is overlapping some of the text and it's actually cutting out part of it. If I were to upload this into Cricut Design Space without first um, uniting it, it would cut out these little pieces and you would have holes here. Now keeping all of this selected, you're going to want to select your Pathfinder tool. If you don't have your Pathfinder tool, go to Window and make sure that Pathfinder is selected. With your script text selected, you are going to want to click the first one here that says Unite. And this is going to unite all of those pieces instead of having them over overlap. Go to our layers window to check. And you'll see here that because the H wasn't overlapping, it's not one composite image. So I'm going to make sure this text is selected. I'm going to press Control V. Now, before I upload this into Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go to Object, Artboards, and Fit to Artwork Bounds. This will perfectly size your artboard around your image. Next, go to File, Save As, and save your file as an SVG by typing in your file name and selecting SVG from the dropdown and press Save. This window comes up. I just ignore all of the questions that it's asking me and press OK. Now, let's upload it into Cricut Design Space. Now, I'm going to upload my SVG into Cricut Design Space by making a new canvas and selecting Upload, Upload Image, Browse, find your image and press Open. And Cricut already knows what to do with this because it's an SVG. If this was a PNG, it would ask me to choose the image quality, it would ask me to remove any white space, but because it's an, it's an SVG, it's ready to go. Select Upload, Insert Image, and there you go. If you notice, the layers palette looks very similar to the layers palette that we have in Adobe. And that's because Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio, all of these programs were based off of Adobe Illustrator because Adobe Illustrator is basically just the industry level standard for graphic design. You can select the image in Design Space and select Ungroup. And then you have two separate pieces of text that you can change and cut perfectly over and over again. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, make sure you leave me a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.